Welcome back, everyone. It is February 8th, 2023, and take a look at that M-Class CME that took place yesterday, actually, on the 7th. Very, very amazing visuals we get to see with this one. In fact, as you can see right here, I posted a short on it last night to give you guys an idea of what this side of the sun could be bringing us any day now. Now, we're also going to get into some earthquakes that took place, one down in the Caribbean Sea, which is very significant, and then something took place in North Carolina early this morning that I believe is another meteor explosion over the United States. We'll get into that in just a few, but take a look at all these sunspot groups, specifically here and here, and then obviously the side that is going to be Earth-facing in the next couple days. It's making its way from left to right, but a few of these groups are beginning to morph and interact magnetically in a way that is known to produce CMEs. According to a lot of the experts that follow the sun, we are in a time of high solar activity, which can clearly be seen with all these different sunspots. That's where most of the sun's eruptions come from. Of course, we have filaments that erupt also that sends solar wind towards earth and when that happens it puts stress on the earth's magnetic field and we then in turn get earthquakes and we do not need any more earthquakes right now you are looking at these sunspots now they are each named by a number these are the ones we have that are in view and off screen right here is where that massive m-class solar flare plus a few more since that recording have taken place we could see here on suspicious observers website a great researcher when it comes to space weather i reference him all the time you could see he talked about this sun flare as well and again as i stated this is the region that is going to be turning earth facing soon so basically again as i've said before picture the earth right about here at the equator of the sun so as a broad idea anything within this part of the sun that goes off will in fact affect earth and seeing the amount of activity taking place over here on the left side just means that an active region is moving its way towards us and again very quickly i know a lot of talk is still going on about turkey and this is my point. We do not need this extra stress from the sun on the earth right now. We are still getting 5.0 and higher aftershocks in this area even today. You can see right here a 5.1 took place just a little while ago. And it's just non-stop. This area is getting completely decimated with earthquakes. And it is honestly one of the saddest things I've ever had to report or see in my life. Now I want to go over a few earthquakes or possible meteor strikes. We're going to talk about the North Carolina area. You can see there is nothing listed here on the USGS, which is why. Why I believe this was a meteor explosion based on how many people felt it and how many reports came in. But first, take a look at this. A 5.5 striking in the Caribbean Sea, just north of Honduras, off the coast, right on the fault line. In the last 30 days total, we've seen one other earthquake. It's about to load right now, and you can see it right there. It was a 4.5 back on the 14th of January, so we haven't seen much action here along this specific fault line. So to see this 5.5 take place and the timing of it, I think it's important we watch Watch this area. I believe Dutch Sense has also put a warning out in this area. Probably one of the best earthquake forecasters I've ever seen in my life. I've been in somewhat contact with him for years now, and it's just incredible what that guy can do as far as preparing people for earthquakes and how he goes about doing so. Anyway, we all know about the Buffalo earthquake that took place, the biggest one in decades. It was a 4.0 downgraded to a 3.8, felt by thousands of people in Canada, New York, Pennsylvania, you name it. The spread of the shake because of how the crust is formed in this area expanded it a lot more than let's say an earthquake of the same size in California. All right, we are jumping over now to Volcano Discovery. Again, as I said, this earthquake, or at least possible earthquake, again, I'll explain why I don't think it was one. You can see these other reports all over the place. Most of them are disregarded, which means it was one report or less. But this one specifically right here, and also the one next to it, just about 30 miles away, we want to talk about. And as you can see right now, they're calling it an unconfirmed earthquake or seismic-like event, 24 miles northwest of Durham, North Carolina. This was today at 5.04 UT. The most important part here is the reports. We have nine user reports. Now, what that means to me is that this was compact in a small area. And based on what these people are saying, and without any answers as to what these people felt, this again has led me to believe that another meteor has exploded over the skies of the United States. Right here, you can see this report says sounded like an explosion. This one right here is very interesting. I heard a loud explosion at midnight that shook the house, then felt little vibrations a few minutes later. That would be along the lines of a sonic boom or something that a meteor can produce. It explodes in the sky and then the concussion hits afterwards causing vibration. We'll go ahead and read this long one here because it's very descriptive. Woke me from a light sleep. I heard a loud low frequency boom 10 times as loud as a power transformer blowing up. And we 
all know those are super loud. Woke my son and my wife also. It felt like an earthquake, but the sound was more like an explosion. Went outside and all street lights were still on. Didn't see any fire in the sky. Didn't hear any siren. Even though he says there's no fire in the sky, that does not mean this wasn't a meteor. And we'll go ahead and read this one too. I could feel the shaking, which I would mostly describe as hitting the side bumps on the car of the interstate. And this part is very interesting. I noticed my remote vibrating on my coffee table. Now, as we zoom in here, the second reported event that took place 20 hours ago is considered unspecified and is now being called disregarded, which means they are not considering this an earthquake because of the fact that there are too few reports or evidence to support it. But again, my friends, I can't stress enough that the sun and the earth completely interact with each other when it comes to seismic activity. It's not always the reason, as we saw in Turkey, there was barely any sun activity going on when that horrible event started. So that was not in relation to the sun, but because this area is so fragile right now, any sort of extra force on the Earth's magnetic field may in fact cause this area or any other area that is facing the sun at the time of the solar wind beginning to hit, those weakest points will go off. And that is the reason why I have named this video as an earthquake watch. We need to keep an eye on the sun. Again, this significant 5.5 down near Honduras in the Caribbean Sea is definitely something to keep an eye on. Plus, we've also got three pretty significant groups of sunspots that are all turning earth facing. This one is basically earth facing right now as we speak. This one will soon become earth facing and then so on and so forth. And then of course the left side of the sun, which has been going absolutely crazy over the last 12 hours is something we absolutely need to watch. All right, my friends, that is what I got for you for now. I will keep a close eye on all these situations for you and update as needed, more than likely through a short video. If not, then tomorrow. I appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to Canada, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed